I'd say after 30, got to see Sarah Milan just really switch the momentum of the game. Couldn't uh, applaud him enough for what he's done the past two years in the state championship. And uh, the other question was the experience we gained from last year. And uh, obviously, Eric Chalice last year taught me a lot, showed me the ropes, and I've definitely modeled my game after him. It means a lot, and to know what to do with the same guys again, and just, we all have a brotherhood, we're best friends, always growing up together, play together forever, and just to finally capitalize it all, just spectacular. Yes. Uh, I had the lead on home run in the fourth inning to make it one nothing. Uh, going through my mind during that at bat was, uh, I was down 0-2, and I knew he was going to come with an off-street pitch, and he gave me a breaking ball inside, and it's right where I wanted it, and I took the yard. And uh, winning two championships back-to-back, -back, state titles, it's, it means a lot for not just the team, but for the community and, and just everybody that was on the team and like contributed, even the fans and everybody. It means a lot to me. There's a lot of similarities and a lot of differences, just like in any season. But I mean, how fortunate and, and how proud uh, I am of these guys and, and being able to kind of take a different role this year. Last year we were kind of the up and comers and, and able to dethrone a team that was the defending champion. And this year we're coming back as the defending champion and, and are able to, to defend our our crown. And, and it's, a, it's a different motivation, a different level of energy required. And, and these guys just continually find a way to meet the mark. And, and I'm, I'm just so proud and so thankful. But also to be able to work with these kids and work with such great coaches like Coach Kane and Coach Billinger who are, who are new this year but came in and, and we didn't miss a beat. They really did an awesome job interacting with the kids, teaching them the game, showing them how to be great baseball players but also great human beings. And, that's, and I think it helps that we're all educators as well and I love how, how, we, how, how they interact with kids and, and how they continue to teach them, not just, uh, not just show them uh, how, to, how to do good things on the baseball field but teach them how to do those things for themselves. And, and, and the guys are able to think for themselves in big moments like they did today, so I'm so proud. Coming into a state championship caliber program, you know, certainly it, I think I can speak for Coach Dillinger as well. I mean, that's obviously the, the foundations were already laid there for us, and Coach Sender um, already had the blueprint for us, and it was just kind of up to us to add our flair to it and, and execute it. You know, lucky for us, the, the bulk of last year's team was, was returning. Um, I mean, I, I can't really take credit for much of anything that those guys have done. It's, it's totally up to them. I mean, those guys have such ownership of their own games, and, and they, they truly, I think, the most impressive thing for high school programs is they, they play for each other. Um, they, they push each other every day, they, they support each other, they are genuinely invested in their successes and failures. And I think that's, you know, when you get to this point of, of the season and championship programs, that's, that's what makes the difference is they care, obviously, about their own success, but they care about the, the success of their, of their teammates. And I think that's why you know, we're standing here with back-to-back with -back championships. So. You know, from the fall season, the start there, the championship expectation was high. Um, you know, a lot of the confidence to be able to do this again came from the players, and it was really just us encouraging them along the way throughout the ups and the downs of the seasons. We did have some things that, that didn't necessarily work out our way this year, um, and we kept finding a way to, uh, as we put it in the program, climb the mountain. Um, and at the end of the year, we were able to come up on top of it. Um, it was largely a, a group effort. From everyone. Um, we had a lot of contributors, there, especially in this playoff. That camaraderie, that togetherness, because of the ups and downs of the baseball season, and it's never perfect. To just like even through a baseball game, it's usually never going to go perfectly for you. It's a game of failure, and the way you handle that failure usually determines your, your chances of being able to maintain success in the future. These guys handle failure well. They they work even harder when they fail. They don't get down. They don't let stressful situations get the best of them. They rise to the moment and, and they stick together through it at all times.